Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is a review of the CCM Premier 2 goalie pads. Uh, I've had these for a few months now. Um, I've used them enough to where I'm confident in what I'm talking about for them. So I'll go over these and do a full review. Gloves are going to be in the near future so you can check those out in the description. Um, so about these pads, these are 35 plus 2. I got the standard angle so I didn't get anything special there. I also didn't get anything special with the brakes. I just got a normal uh, like pre-curve, I think it's one internal brake. Um, these pads aren't that stiff, but they're not soft either. So you can see that the boot is the stock normal boot. I did get the stiff one, so it is much softer than it used to be. But as you can see at the top, this part is pretty stiff. When down here, you can definitely feel that brake and it definitely bends. The pad definitely does have a pre-curve to it as you can see and the interesting thing about these pads is it still has that rounded roll and I'll show that up up close um, so that's about it from this view uh, oh these fit very close and basically they're when they stand right up next to my one S, one X's and my uh, optics my optics are 36 plus 1 my one X's are 36 plus 1 but they're XL's these are 35 plus 2 the knee lines up perfectly they fit basically the same um, so again, that's CCM sizing compared to Brian's and Bauer. All right, so we'll pull this up a little closer so we can take a closer look. All right, so before I forget, um, CCM said that they made a big, or CCM did make a big, pretty big weight savings between these and the Premier Ones. Um, they did do that, so props to CCM in that sense. But this is still a pretty heavy pad. Um, when I'm carrying these, I can tell that they're heavier than my other ones. But when I weighed them up, so my 1Xs are about 4.6 pounds. These are uh, 5 pounds, basically right off the right on. Now, you can say, well, like that's not that big of a difference. And that's, I, I notice a difference when I'm wearing these. These definitely feel heavier and play heavier than the 1Xs and my optics do. CCM did do a good job of making these lighter, but they're still a heavy pad. And they're a heavy pad because of like how, uh, built up the core is. CCM didn't go lightweight on the core to make these bendable, like the Bryans are bendable and like the Vons and the Warriors are bendable. These things are totally solid. So I'll kind of try to show that right here. So this thing does not bend at all. As you can see, um, this thing is totally hard and it doesn't flex, it doesn't bend. CCM did a good job of making this pad still extremely solid in that regards. So kind of move on from there. Um, I did some, I always kind of do some things with different materials to show them off. Um, so I did that in the optics, I did that on these as well. So as you can see, I have orange speed skin, orange normal, normal gen pro, carbon white, normal white, speed skin white, and carbon black. So you can kind of see the difference, differences between the materials. Hopefully that all shows up. Hopefully that all shows up there. Um, and before I forget, just to show it off really quickly, what these come with. They come, they come with uh, different straps for the internal piece right here. So this is a size large for this quick motion. They also come with mediums, nice touch of giving you some extra customization there. And also before I forget, so these pads all have max rebound in them and it's this yellow foam. So their idea is if the foam compresses, it will shoot the puck back out. So as you can kind of see it's a bit compressible there. Now you might be able to see that and some of like behind the stitching. You can see it if you look close in person, might be a little harder on this. Um, I find this doesn't really work. Um, when playing with these, the rebounds honestly felt more dead to me than my optics and definitely more dead than my one X's. Now the, the face of the pad feels hard, but I found pucks didn't shoot out. I could kind of feel them and then it almost felt like they were like sucked in, a, not like sucked in, but you could feel it and then it kind of deadened out. Um, I had a teammate, I went in the butterfly, I had a teammate take slap shots off the shin and just see how far they went out and then, honestly they didn't really go that far out. So it was kind of disappointment for me in that regard. I expected this max rebound stuff to be extremely like reboundy and that's kind of, this is the, the harder pad of CCM which I figured the rebounds would be farther out. I watched some pros play and they see the rebounds go flying. I didn't have that experience. Um, I definitely think Supremes do a much better job for rebounds. I even say my optics do a better job for rebounds. 
Um, so unfortunately for me, that just wasn't the situation for these. So it's a bit disappointing. One of the very unique things about these pads is the medial roll, which is this piece right here, is round. Now that's not really a, uh, a very common occurrence anymore on goalie pads. Usually it's all flat. Uh, I think the E-Flex was CCM turned flat. Passau used to do a round roll. Now they're flat. I don't know if you can still get a round roll. I kind of liked the round roll on my Coho's and I thought I'd like it here. The reason being is because it's round, it kind of traps the puck, I find. It seals pretty good. These pads actually seal amazingly. Um, I mentioned the optics were kind of cheating with a pillow under here where it pushes the, the bottom down. These pads, I'm not sure exactly how they do it. I think it has part to do with this roll, but these pads would seal the ice better than like anything else I've ever used, including the Supremes, including the Vapors. Um, so I did this kind of with the optics where you could push down and it moved a little bit. These are totally stable. And yes, I have a 90 degree boot on these, but these things don't move at all. And I am, oh, I remember specific times while playing where a puck was from behind the net, went out front. I was just in butterfly, not looking at the puck because I didn't know where it was. Puck would hit right here and it would come out. And I remembered, to, like, I was like, wow, how did I make that save? It was because of how well these pads seal and it's very hard to jam in here because of how thick this is and because of how well this rounded medial roll seals. Um, I truly believe that CCM has the best sealing pad on the market with these. Um, now that might act, uh, contribute a bit to their weight and that, what their weight might be one of the reasons why it seals so well, but I find it does an amazing job for this right here and this really does get on the ice really well. Now you can see puck marks here that squirted through. It's obviously not the pad, that's me, but the pad itself does an excellent job and I have to give CCM huge credit for that. Now you can kind of see the more aggressive curve here. I don't curve my pads, I keep them very straight. I think if I went with a more straight option here, they might have worked a little bit better for me. But it's not that the, the curve was really a huge issue. Going from these, um, from any of my other pads to these was an actual adjustment and usually I can switch pads like that, no issues. I do it with Vons, I do it with Supremes. Um, so I generally don't have an issue with that. With these I did, I had to change up my stance totally. And the reason being is because of how thick this roll is and how thick the pad is. When I was in my stance, I found these kind of always hitting each other. Um, even with smaller knee pads, like my 1X knee pads, I kind of felt like the pads were coming together like this. And so I'm trying to show this coming together like this too much and hitting each other. So I kind of had to bend my knees out more so there would actually be more overlap on the thigh rise. But so instead of standing more wide legged, my kind of knees were bent in more. So there was more overlap, but I could kind of control where the overlap was. And so they wouldn't hit each other because they'd always be behind each other. Like one would always be behind the other. Um, there is, I always comment about how Bauer has some exposed nylon here and it's kind of a joke for 2018 pads. CCM does a pretty good job of this where none of this is exposed. We used to have nylon here that would always rip, but there are a few points, uh, spots I kind of want to point out where CCM still kind of exposes it. So right here, there is some wear, tiny, tiny bit of wear here. And keep in mind, I didn't wear these pads very often. You can see by the puck marks, there's not a ton on here. So there is a tiny bit of notice here. And right here, I don't understand why the nylon here comes out over the edge. So this will wear, I've seen it on pads. I haven't used these enough to make it wear down, but this, these spots right here will wear out. This should have kind of gone all more around and the, the join of it should have been on the backside. I'm not totally sure why CCM decided to go that route for how this is sewn up. It's kind of disappointing on me to me, especially when, as you can see, they removed all the binding here, but they kind of kept it there. So a bit disappointment in that sense. So this pad has the speed skin, you can hear it. Um, I said speed skin made a huge difference on the E-Flex 3s I wore compared to the Coho's I wore. I still believe that is kind of true. Um, with these pads, I don't know if it's this roll, the weight of the pad, or what exactly it is, but I found that these pads either slid very well or absolutely horribly. And I, the, the weird part is when I found that these pads flit, slid really poorly, the ice was perfectly smooth. Uh, it wasn't choppy at all and it wasn't soft. It was almost hard. It's a brand new rink and I really actually like the ice there. But for some reason, every time I tried to move, I would just get stuck. I couldn't figure out what it was. 
Um, I played back-to-backs in this game. So the first game was at that really nice rink where the ice was very smooth. It was almost hard. Um, and it, again, it wasn't wet or anything. And every time I tried to slide, it would just totally freeze up. And I, I basically felt myself pivoting. Every time I go to push, my body would just kind of turn. I then went to an, a rink that's about 80 years old. And the ice on there is absolutely garbage. It's always too warm. It's very choppy. I played there and these things slid fairly well. They weren't as good as my optics or one X's, but they still slid much better than what I experienced on the other rink. And it wouldn't be, if they always slid like that, I wouldn't have a huge issue with them. And I probably wouldn't have ordered a pair of genetics if they slid like that all the time. Um, I ordered a pair of genetics in these colors because I'm moving on from these because I wasn't totally thrilled with them. Spoiler. So I couldn't really get consistent sliding with these pads. I don't think it's the, the speed skin because I didn't have that much of issues with the E-Flex 3s as I did with these. And it was, again, on specific ice, I'd go to slide and just, I, I couldn't move. Um, one of the very fresh, the other part about these is a bit of how they're kind of heavy. I would be fatigued in these pads before other ones and I definitely felt it really quick. Now you can say, well, you gotta get in better shape. Fair, fair statement, totally fair statement. Um, like tonight, from filming this, I'll have play back-to-back -back games. Um, I'm not going to wear these pads, obviously. But when I did that, when I was wearing these, I was totally dead by the third period of the first game. So then going into the second game, it was like, oh, my legs were just shot. I don't have that issue with optics. I don't have that issue with my One Xs or any other pads I've worn for quite a while. So it is a thing with the, the Premier Tears where... Because of the weight, and, or even just the way that they're made and they kind of sit on you, I felt my legs working over, like, over time compared to other pads that I wear. Um, so I guess now we'll just dive on the inside of it really quick and go over some details in here. So here is the light channel, pretty open. I'm a fan of how this light channel is. You can sit the pad pretty loose, um, and the pad seals very, very well, like I mentioned. The knee block is comfortable. It is pretty hard. Um, this part isn't that hard, it's nice and soft, but this part is pretty hard, but does a good job of sealing the ice. This, again, useless strap for me. I just use it to hope to keep everything a little tighter. I experimented going on there, had no issues at all. Um, this inner strap kind of works like that Vaughn Professor strap, um, but not, obviously it's not identical, but it's fairly close. I really like that. I found when I wore the mediums, this was completely wearing down my leg. Like it was too tight, and it really felt like it was I was fighting against this strap when I was moving and it was kind of putting pressure on the back of my leg and I was having a ton of issues with it. Went to the large, gave me some uh, some extra stretch there and didn't really have any issues after that. It wasn't uncomfortable, just played better all around. So again, we look in here, this part doesn't come off, but you can just see the part of the leg channel. I like the little, I'm not sure what this is, it's not quite Nash, but I like how CCM does their leg channels. I like the color options. The one thing that's really awesome about CCM is you can build this pad out in many different ways. Same with their blockers and gloves. CCM is still a company that's doing pretty good custom stuff considering they're like one of the retail, the big ones. One, you have a ton of color options. Two, their graphics I find are really, really nice. I designed this pad and I think it's pretty clean. Um, you can kind of see where the colors are going from. But if you look at some people in the NHL right now, their pads look totally different from this and it looks really, really good. But it, you, they're so different that you can almost not tell that they're the same style of pad. This pad was worn in the Olympics by the German goaltender who had, I think, it was like black, red, yellow, or Germany's flags, in one of that order. And that design would look totally different from this and you wouldn't kind of tell they're the same. So I have to give CCM huge props for how they do the graphics on these, they're very, very good where you can make huge differences, like changes like this, make them look very different between different sets of pads, but yet have you kind of your own unique style with it. My one gripe is that you couldn't make this flow perfectly straight because of this material. So if I wanted this to be black, this would have to be black as well. And there's a few other spots. Um, my catching glove I have an issue with because I couldn't match it perfectly. So, but there's a few things like that where CCM always gets slightly wrong, I believe, and it's kind of frustrating. Um, but, I mean, that's kind of nitpicking. It would be nice if you could go one more layer of customization like Brian's does, where you can say, okay, well, I want that filled in the same color too, and they would do it. Um, with that said, again, I'm pretty happy with the graphics on it. I'm really happy with the customization. 
Again, I just got stock here. You can get a much stiffer boot. You can get a softer with double brake internals. You can get it flat and totally stiff as a board. CCM really lets you change these and they let you change the different straps back here. You can get removable ones. You can get a different uh, knee part right here. You can get these to be tighter, looser. You can get different type of boot straps. This one just has their, their new super like plasticky lightweight bootstrap, which I don't mind. Um, you can get all these crazy different customizations. I say crazy. I mean crazy compared to say Bauer. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with these pads and that's a huge prop to CCM for still allowing you to do that. Again, this pad totally didn't work out for me, but the fact that you can change it all is definitely a bonus in that regards. Um, so moving on to the toe. So the toe just comes with a normal skate lace. I like the new modern skate laces that are on my brines and on the one X's, how they're kind of stretchy. I put a slack in this and I had no issues using it. Felt normal to me. Um, the, the good thing about skate lace is wear and tear. You just replace it with a skate, skate lace. I do appreciate the stretchy ones because you can get a little bit more ankle support or give when you need it. Where these ones, if you don't put, if I don't put that uh, slack in there, it really hurts the ankle when you try to go in reverse VH. So stuff like that. Um, I believe that about sums it up of this pad. Um, it's a good pad. It's definitely one of the best ceiling pads on the market, if not the best ceiling pad on the market. It definitely works for some people, like Roberto Luongo, it works phenomenal for. I know a guy I play against who's a very good goalie. He plays the in these like very, very well, and I'm really jealous of him. For me, these just kind of didn't work. They weren't offering exactly what I'm looking for. Um, which is a bit more sliding speed, a bit more lightweight, but they are solid pads. They're just not, they need, in my opinion, CCM is still lagging a bit behind in tech. They're still a bit heavy, but again, they don't flex like other companies do. So you'll get probably more durability out of the actual core of the pad. Um, but CCM's customization is still good. They're just a bit too heavy. They don't slide quite well enough and they don't totally work for what I, for what I'm trying to do. So that about sums it up for these. Um, I would recommend these pads if you're in a premiere and you like premieres. I think optics and one X's are more for me and I think there's better options out there. I don't think these, well, the, the thing that these do really well is sealing the ice like I mentioned. Everything else is just kind of okay. Um, I don't know, for me, that weight, the weight and how they play everywhere else isn't enough to go for this better seal. I think I can get away with my optics and my one X's um, then have to kind of suffer and deal with the issues on, or my issues on these ones. So I guess that about sums it up for these pads. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, I hate to say this, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, that way it helps me get, I can do some, get some more gear so I can do some more reviews, stuff like this. Um, I also, I hate to say this as well, but if you decide to purchase or not purchase a set of or piece of equipment because of one of my videos, please reach out to the manufacturer on social media to say, hey, I bought this because of this person. Um, just gets me a bit more exposure so I can get more gear like this so I can talk about it and do reviews on. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy.